Hi and welcome to the first of a whole week of sessions on, I suppose, transforming or making the journey from darkness to light. I hear the music is a little loud in the background. When you go live, so you never know what's going to happen. That music is, is what's called meta music. I don't know if you've ever heard of meta music. It's hemi-sync music. And the whole point of it is to actually help to rebalance your energies vibrationally. So it's not bad that it's playing loudly in the background. I hope it's not overpowering my voice. Today is Palm Sunday in the Christian tradition. And I felt it was a really good day to start this journey. I always find Holy Week a great day to process and to journey. I always have, even when I was in religious life and very much focused on the religious side of things, but I always found the spiritual aspect of that, I suppose, that journey. I always found that spiritual side very authentic this week because it's, it's, it, we can all identify with what, what the process of what Holy Week is, I believe. And it's a process of, I suppose, wanting salvation, wanting to find enlightenment, but so many things getting in the way of that. So many things that cause us human suffering, cause us suffering, that disconnect us from our soul space. And that's what I want to focus on for these next eight days. It's to help you, help me, help all of us to process from darkness to light, to walk that journey. So for a second, I just want you to listen to the music, focus on the candle and breathe and just think about, okay, in my life now, I'm sure you're like me right now, when somebody says to you about going from darkness to light, you might well go, no, no darkness in my life. I'm just here for the, the joy of it. Just ponder for a second. What is it that I would like to move from darkness? What is the darkness in my life that I would like to transition, to retune, to journey through, to get to light? So just for a second, just focus on the candle. There's it there. And I'll be back to you in a second. I find it amazing that the time that the light shines brightest is actually when we're in darkness. If you really want to see the value of a candle or a value of light, and we can see that in winter time, if this room was darkened and there was no other light, you would certainly see the vibrance of that candle. But because of the light in the room, it's not so vibrant. So think about that. It's in our darkest hour, possibly. It's when we think we can't go any lower, and maybe we do fall a little bit lower, that we actually do experience the power of the light. I know in my life that there have been many times, put my hand on my heart and say it, where I have been in darkness. Anxiety, depression, stress causes darkness. And that's what I want to sort of focus on tonight, if you don't mind. You see, when we're stressed, we can't actually make as great a soul connection as we'd like. Stress blocks our soul connection our energy connection. And I use the word soul time or energy vibration or divine connection, or I even use the word God. And what, that's what they all basically mean the same thing. And you use and say in your own head, whatever works for you. So what I want you to do right now is beginning this week. And if you can't make the 6.30 time some days, that's okay. You'll be, hopefully I'll save them properly and you'll be able to catch up 
through the week, but commit to doing this journey. Every day for the next eight days, you are going to connect in and just follow this. Even if at times you think, oh no, I, I can find a hundred reasons why I'm not doing that tonight. Because that's, that's the part of us, that's the dark part of us. We can get very comfortable in darkness. For a lot of people, it can be very difficult to move into the spring season and to even move through spring into summer. We can struggle with it. We can really, really find it hard because we can get used to being in the darkness. Sometimes it can be easier to stay in the darkness than to even move into light. So what is it that you would love to journey with through these? And maybe there's nothing coming up right now, but maybe there is. Maybe there's... I you know, this anxiety, maybe it's depression, maybe it's being so angry with somebody or something, maybe it's a lack of hope in your life. What is your darkness right now? And that's the first step. That's what we're honoring tonight. Because I always believe that, and I know this from my own life, until we actually honor the darkness, I'm not saying we live in it, we stay there, I'm saying we need to honor it. We need to pay it due respect because this darkness is here for a reason. You are anxious for a reason. You're depressed, you're struggling, you're whatever is going on for you. You're always worrying, whatever it is, it's there for a reason. There is a part of you, not all of you, but there is a part of you that feels this way is protecting you. I say that again, there is a part of you that honestly feels that this anxiety or this depression is protecting you. Because what anxiety and depression and worry and all of those things and pain in your body and not sleeping, they're all indications that you're overstressed. And we're normally triggering a stress response when things are not right, when some part of us feels threatened. And when we normally feel threatened, it's for a reason. We're feeling threatened to protect us. When we're, when we're on hypervigilance or in the stress response, it's to be on alert, to be protected. And we normally need protected, mostly, when we're hurt. Just like you cut yourself and immediately all the blood cells start rushing and all the things start happening to start to form a scab to, to stop you from bleeding out. It's the exact same thing. When somewhere in you triggers off that it's under threat, your whole body is going to come and do fight or flight. You're going to go into that stress response. And when you're in that stress response, you actually are using up all your good nutrition, you're using up all your mental state, you're using everything up and it's preventing you from getting into that soul space. If you're hypervigilant, and I know this one myself, if you're hypervigilant, it's very difficult to settle into a soul space and to nourish your soul being. And essentially, we're not human beings and energy beings separate. We're soul beings. We are just energy beings. The human part of us and the soul part of us are all our energy vibration. So retune one and you retune everything else. So what I want you to get you to do tonight, just to start off with, is to speak your truth. And if you're in a space at the minute, in a room or wherever it is, where you can speak your truth, speak it out. And if you can't speak it out, say it in your head. So what is your stressed truth, that truth? That truth of what's going on for you. I truly am in pain. I truly am anxious. I truly am angry. I truly am whatever. What is it for you? And make a note of that. You might even want to write it down somewhere because we're going to see where we go through the week. And that anxiety, as I said already, is what's blocking us from our soul space, but equally, how we deal with that anxiety, how we are for ourselves, is what's going to help us through. And what do I mean by that? Palm Sunday is the day when the palms were waved. We, we remember that time when Jesus went through that journey and the palms were raised, Hosanna in the highest was called out. 
Hosanna meaning say of your king of kings, blessings to the king of kings and the whole celebration, here's our savior. And it was the beginning of the blessing to send people, you know, to send Jesus into his week of agony. Now, I don't know if it happened all in one week, but that's what we have in scriptures. So tonight is our beginning because we can make the mistake of, of thinking that salvation or enlightenment is going to come from without. Somebody is going to give it to us. But the truth is, it's going to come from within. And it's about us reaching in and, and being compassion and love and healing and understanding for ourselves, especially for the wounded parts of us, accepting the, the truth of us. So we're going to do one round of tapping. I'm going to take off my glasses here. And what we're going to tap on is, is your truth. That's all. So this is the beginning, remember, of the week. So what I want you to do is whatever your truth is, I truly am anxious. I truly am upset. I truly am angry. I truly am in pain in my body and say where that pain is. So whatever I'm saying out loud as I'm tapping, that's for the whole session. You say what's true for you in your head as I'm saying it. So I'm gonna start here. Clump the fingers of one hand tap the karate chop side. This is a different way of tapping. If you've never seen it before, it's two meridian tapping. And you're gonna say, I truly am anxious, upset, angry, whatever it is, stressed. Maybe the word stress is enough for you. And then do the same thing on the other side. Clump the fingers, all of the fingers, and tap the karate chop point. I truly am stressed. And I know that stress is preventing me from truly living my soul journey, connecting into that soul journey because the soul journey is being lived. We're on a journey and whether we're connected into that soul space and it's a much, much more authentic place to come from. So let's deal with the stress. And then you're gonna put two fingers under your nose, two fingers on the crease of your chin. I truly am stressed, anxious, worried, depressed, whatever it is for you and switch those two fingers down, two fingers come up. I truly am stressed, in pain, worried, hurt, whatever it is for you. And then bring two fingers, well I tend to make them like a pencil, and I put them just in here, not in the eye, just on the corner, and the other two fingers are coming under the collarbone, close to the sternum, but before the first rib and you just tap gently. I truly am stressed, anxious, worried, whatever it is. And then switch those over. Two up, two down. That's what I mean by switch. You don't cross over your hand. will all same hand, same side. I truly am stressed, pained, worried, anxious, whatever the words are for you, whatever is your truth right now, your darkness, the truth of your darkness. Then come to the outer eye, lower ribs still on the front of the body. I truly am stressed. And switch that. I truly am stressed. Sliding just in front of the ear, I might be going a little bit too fast, hopefully not. Little finger and thumb on the other hand. I truly am stressed, anxious, worried. State your darkness, honor your darkness. You're speaking your truth. Switch it over. I truly am stressed, anxious, worried, whatever it is. Then you're going to bring the two fingers that are at the side of the ear, just to the outer upper eyebrow. And in this hand, it's the middle finger and the thumb. Tapping gently. I truly am stressed, anxious, worried, upset, nervous, in pain. Switch those over, middle finger. I truly am stressed, worried, anxious, nervous, whatever it is for you. Then you're going to bring these two fingers that are on the corner of the eyebrow to under the eye. There's a little bone there, 
just tapping on the edge of that bone. And this hand is going to go under your arm, roughly about halfway down. I truly am stressed, worried, anxious. Whatever fits for you, whatever sums up your darkness right now, switch it over. I truly am stressed, worried, anxious. All we're doing right now is honouring our truth, the truth of our darkness. And then you're going to come to the side of the nose, just right here, two fingers. This hand is going to go outer torso now. We were in here earlier at the beginning, now we're coming sliding out, but you're not on the shoulder. I truly am stressed, worried, in pain, anxious, and switch. I truly am stressed, worried, anxious. And then you're going to come back to two fingers under the nose, two fingers on the crease of the chin. I truly am stressed, worried, anxious, whatever it is for you. And switch those over, two up, two down. I truly am stressed, anxious, in pain, upset, afraid. And then come back to the karate chop point right here. And that's one round of two meridian tapping that I'm going to use. I'm going to use, well, I don't know what I'll use. I'll be moved by the spirit as I do this work. But essentially tonight, this session, this time is about honoring the truth of your darkness. Then bring your hands to your solar plexus, which is just between the bottom of your ribs and your belly button. And take three breaths and honor that truth. Again, I truly am upset, anxious. And I hope as with me that you right now are feeling it's okay. I'm okay in this space that you can state your darkness and maybe not get so engulfed in it, but just that you're honoring. And that's what we did tonight. That's what we're doing. We're just honoring the reality of our darkness. Step one. So tomorrow night, we're going to move on a little bit more with this. We're not going to go too far yet because we have eight days on this journey, from darkness to light. But just be gentle with yourself for this week. Make a pact that if you don't get on at half six, if you're too busy or whatever's going on, you are going to come on, you are going to watch the video, you're going to do the tapping, you're going to make this journey. You've begun it tonight. You're going to make this journey for the next eight days, from darkness through to light. And the first part of that journey is to honor the darkness, the truth of our darkness. And that's what we did tonight, gently. We just honored a general statement. And of course, this is not about getting into really deep things. And if you find that happening for you, just be gentle and be careful. And if you, you know, connect in with your supports if you've got supports. And if you haven't got supports, connect in with me. And maybe you need to, to go for deeper one-to-one -one sessions. That's absolutely fine. We can organize that. But be your support. You're being your own best friend this week. And we're starting off by honoring our darkness. And then we're gently going to move into our soul space of enlightenment, true enlightenment. And basically what it is, is being at home through your darkness, retuning that darkness to allow yourself to come into what is your truth, your, your deeper truth, which is even though you have this darkness, even though these things are going on, you're still connected to your source. You might not see that right now. You might not feel that right now, but you are still connected to your source. And I have promised to keep these sessions every night to just 20 minutes, 15 to 20 minutes. And I see my 20 minutes are up for tonight. So namaste. The God in me, the divine in me honors and is grateful to meet the divine in you.
and to work with you this week. Namaste. See you tomorrow night, half six, or whenever you can view the video.